Bismillah Rahman Rahim. Assalamualaikum, students. Uh, today we are going to discuss about uh, commonly used abbreviations in medicines, right? So, if you are new to the channel, please subscribe to the channel so that you get the next time of the videos. So, let's start with the abbreviations that we use in our drugs, our medicines, in our daily basis, in our boards, we use in the boards, or when we give the patient, right? Yes. Uh, these are the common uh, common abbreviations or common terms which we use for uh, frequency and some uh, some abbreviations are for frequency and after that we will discuss about the uh, abbreviations which we use for uh, the root of medicine right so first of all uh, this is th these are the most common uh, common terms which were most common abbreviations which we are going to discuss and every nurse every healthcare professional must know these terms right Right? It's really very much important for everyone. Uh, first of all, many, it's mean in the morning. That's mean we, we have to give that medicine in the morning, right? Like loprene tablet, we have to give at 7 a.m. And uh, in the morning, that's mean there may be 7 a.m. or uh, uh, in many, it's mean in the morning, right? Uh, next one is midday. Midday mean midday. We have to give that medicine at 12 midday, right? and knock me at night or maybe at bedtime, right? At, at bedtime, knock. And uh, next one is BD or BID. It's mean twice time a day, twice a day, two times a day, right? Uh, BD or BID, both have the same meaning. We have to give that medicine two times a day. If we give a uh, tablet or injection at 7 a.m., we have to repeat that injection or a tablet at 7 p.m. as well, right? And next one is TDS. TDS or TID has the same meaning. It's mean three times a day. It's mean eight hourly. We have to repeat that medicine three times per 24 hours, right? It's mean if we give that medicine at eight, at 6 a.m., we have to give then uh, it um, to 2 p.m. And after that, we have to repeat that medicine at 10 p.m., right? Six to 10, that is three times a day, right? Next one is QID. QID means four times a day, like six hourly, right? QID and six hourly uh, have the same meaning. We have to give that medicine like uh, at 6 a.m., then six, 12 uh, midday, then 6 p.m., uh, and after that, 12 midnight, okay? Stat medicine means you have to give that medicine to the patient immediately, like in wars, your patient has hypersensitivity or any kind of allergy, and doctor orders that just give uh, uh, injection able or anything else, uh, or in the form of uh, scissors or feeds, doctor order that give injection uh, midazolam or dizepam stat. It's mean give immediately to cover the, to handle the problem which is, uh, which is uh, uh, occurring in, in emergency, right? Next one is PRN. PRN mean whenever required, when necessary. Like your patient has temperature and uh, 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 and on the file or, uh, or the medicine prescription, doctor has advised uh, tablet paracetamol uh, six hourly or eight hourly and PRN. It's mean whenever the patient has raised temperature, you will give the give tablet paracetamol. That's mean PRN whenever required. In other words, if your patient has any kind of seizures and there is on file or doctor has advised that give injection midazolam, a one milligram or two milligram um, whenever required mean PRN. It's mean whenever necessary, patient has the complaint of uh, uh, some particular uh, issue, patient has some any uh, some particular issue, you, you can give that medicine, that is PRN, okay? Uh, next is AC. AC mean before meal. Patient is uh, uh, like patient uh, will take uh, his or her breakfast at semen and you have to give that medicine prior to meal or breakfast, right? That is AC. And PC mean after meal, patient have taken uh, his or her meal and now you have to give the, that medicine. That is called PC, okay? QH or, uh, is the meaning of one hourly. You have to give like eye drops one hourly. So eye drops QH, right? Eye drops installation QH. It means you have to give that uh, drops, apply to that uh, or instill that drops uh, one hourly, right? 
if there is two uh, q two h it's mean every two hours or if q four h it's mean every four hours right and q o d mean after uh, every other day means on alternate day then it will be q o d right if o d then it will be it mean it uh, if it is o d o d o d mean once a day right once a day right and uh, if there is uh, qod it's mean on every um, uh, other day means on alternate day if you give uh, on saturday you don't give it on sunday then on monday and tuesday no medicine and then wednesday right you have to repeat every other day we you see these are the roots right buckle roots as you know that buck for buckle roots uh, the short form is b u c that means you have to uh, put that medicine that tablet or uh, that spray inside cheek right or o or oral or p o it's mean upper oral right s l sublingual under the tongue like you are going to give the uh, nitrate uh, tablet or spray so you have to uh, put it under the tongue that is sublingual s l okay short form maybe on uh, on the file uh, on the patient uh, orders medicine orders there may be s l it means sublingual and id intradermal like we people give test dose of any antibiotic prior to its um, proper dose we give the test dose that is id it means intradermal and after that injection we are going to give uh, going to uh, give an injection to the patient and the root is im we must uh, know that that is uh, stand for uh, intramuscular right sc or sq is subcutaneous like we give uh, insulin injection and uh, four units insulin sub q sc only the people give um, right there sc and we we must understand that uh, it's mean that we have to give that medicine subcutaneous Uh, next root is IV. IV mean intravenous, right? NEB short form for nebulizer, nebulization, right? Nebulizer, nebulization, right? S A T, nebulization, right? Nebulize, uh, nebulization. Next is P R. It means per rectum. You have to give that medicine per rectum, like spostries, napa spostries, glycine spostries, right? top it's mean top, topical or on the skin you have to apply um, uh, apply topically or direct on the skin or a mucous membrane uh, like um, uh, like inside the mouth or anything uh, next one is vag that is the short form for vaginal right and uh, next one is rx it's mean prescribotic and students keep it in mind that uh, uh, you must know these abbreviations and uh, if you don't know what is the meaning of this abbreviation you must uh, prior to given any kind of medicine you must confirm it from your senior and from your uh, resident or from your doctor right don't give any medicine when you are suspicious that what is the meaning of this abbreviation or the orders are not readable or, or Uh, the orders are not very clear right so it's really very much important that uh, if you have any kind of confusion must clear, clear it uh, from your senior or doctor and after that give that medicine because in this way we will be able to uh, to overcome our uh, medicine errors like right? to minimize our medicine errors or to prevent ourselves from uh, and our patient from the medicine errors okay so uh, this uh, that was the lecture for today and i hope that you people will understand it if you have any question please uh, write me in comments and uh, uh, please subscribe and uh, my channel uh, or standing nurses hub for uh, more in videos like it share it and to comment thank you very much